Hey guys, good news, bad news. I've been uh, testing on a new testing map I made. It's all glass stretching down to nothing and whatever structures I decide to build. I wanted to test a specific type of creature. I didn't want to test its spawn rate. It seems to spawn slower, but the same as everything else. I wanted to test Endermen. I wanted to test what blocks they can move. I tested them on every block creatures can spawn on, including bedrock, obsidian, soul sand, even jukeboxes and furnaces because those save values. Hell, I even tried the uh, leaves on simple thing, which used to work as a bug. Turn down the noise. And they don't spawn on it. But also when I put some at the bottom of one of my spawn areas, they picked it up anyways. And I thought to myself, I need to figure out how to make this work. I need to figure out how to test these things. I need to figure out something they can't move. And I found it. Blocks that take up a whole square, they can move. Even glass. Stuff that's not spawnable on, they can't move things that only take up part of a square. Now I haven't tried iron bars yet, I haven't tried the new glass pa panes, because I want something that could at least kind of block out light. I've been using stone slabs, and they can't move them. I took this and I've used it to build a testing area slash spawn room for endermen, and this is pretty simple, all things considered. Once you figure out the half slab... Oh half slab thing. I've already learned a couple of things about Endermen. One, those long arms can reach through walls. If I climb down on this, I'll try to give you a look at the glass blocks too that they've pulled out through the half slabs. Fortunately, it's only one square past the wall. The way I've built this... Ooh, I can fly. Forgot about that. The way I've built this so that they have a surface to spawn on, but it still works, is I've used a self-repairing cobblestone structure surrounded completely by half slabs, and only a short expanse of water leading into a pit with no water at the bottom. wrong block, excuse me. Now what I'm going to do with this is A, I'm going to test them, I'm going to see exactly what their capabilities are, and B, once I've done that testing I've, I'm going to do another video for a mob system. The way the capture works on this one, and I have to be careful going up in, is there's a square that the Enderman can yeah. see one stole a glass block through the walls that Enderman can fall into, but it's only too high so they can't leave, and it's too hard for them to jump out. Eventually the Enderman just force everything else out into this current. Obviously I just finished this, I haven't uh, spider-proofed it yet. I'll try to do that soon. But I'm... now that I have this and I figured out a way to get Enderman to spawn and to trap them, I'm going to test various things this episode I'm going to test what Endermen can see you looking at them through and because it's quick and easy and I'm gonna need to make a corridor leading off to the side anyways I wanna see if Endermen are like glass and they can't see you looking at the gas and they can't see you looking at them through glass the way I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna go over to this actually this relies heavily on half slabs. I'm going to test the half slabs first, and then I'm going to come back quick if I die and test the slabs. Can they see you looking at them through half slabs? He's still looking around, he's not staring at me. Doesn't seem like he can. Try different angles. Have a quick look. No response so far. Yo. Uh -oh. 
Nope, I aggroed one. One of them saw me looking. He's around here somewhere. Ah! Uh, I aggroed him, but uh, I'm at the bottom of the map. This fog is hiding the fact that it's daylight outside, and it's raining, which damages Enderman. So I did aggro a few. They're popping out. Looked like he popped out on top of that. It would be interesting if they couldn't spawn on glass. Or teleport on glass, rather. And yep, it's official. Rain does kill Endermen. And Endermen are badasses compared to skeletons. Every time I run up here and there's a skeleton in, they'll shoot an Enderman. The Enderman will massacre him, massacre him within a second. Alright. So now that we know that Enderman will aggro through half slabs, what I'm going to do is, even though they'll be able to remove it, I'm going to put a thick layer of glass. Now what this will do is, say they remove one, two, whatever, there'll still at least be one between me and the Enderman, and I'll be able to tell you if they aggro through that. I'm going to cut, and I'm going to come back down, I'm going to save the substance I'm testing, we'll test a whole bunch of different things, and see what works. Test two. Can Enderman see through glass? Let's find out. You can certainly see where they grab some. I was hoping it would be all transparent blocks so I could bottom this out with glass at least. Can you see me? Looking right at you, buddy. Only one square there. No? Let's see if it was just because of the glass, but I need the creeper to leave first. Come on, there you go. There you go, buddy. Get moving. No, 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 no. He's fighting it because I'm here. Alright. To verify that it's just because of the glass, I'm going to punch it. And, since I thought of this test, I'm going to see if they can teleport onto squares creatures can't spawn on. Oh dear. It's one way to aggro. Can they teleport to glass and other squares creatures can't spawn on? Come on, I see you. You're angry. You're mad, bro. You so mad. Really no way to tell. Until it's not daylight, I suppose. They cannot see through glass. Huzzah. Alright. Here we are for our next test. Looking a mite more difficult. I think some creatures got caught on a... Uh... Oh, there's a gap. Got caught on that little gap there. Forced into there instead of... Out. Generally, they have been getting bumped out, though. Hoping that skeleton shoots an Enderman so you can see it get massacred. No, no luck. Okay. Next test, can Enderman see you looking at them through this? Next test, can they see you looking at them through these bars? Nope. Endermen don't seem to be able to see you looking at them through any completely transparent thing. I also haven't seen them pick any of these up. Hey, have a look around. Isn't it nice? There's some blocks that have been either yanked out by Endermen or I accidentally yanked out myself. But. You can see I'm actually making a change from the half block inside. It doesn't seem like the Enderman can pull out the bars. And I want to 
get a nice viewing area where I can watch the Enderman from inside. I also want to double check that these bars can't be moved. As you can see, the half slabs actually do block. Oh, wrong one. Once I remove the outer block, the half slabs actually do block light. I just wanted to be really sure with that. So I'm thinking I'm going to knock down this wall and I'm going to build a little half slab thing past it that I'll be able to walk around and view the Enderman from. Once I do that and I figure out their behavior just a tiny bit more, we're going to hopefully be able to make a spawner together designed to trap them. But this is like my testing area, like I said. We do have to fiddle around with it just a little bit more before we can catch us mad amounts of Enderman. Alright. I'm going to cut to my next video. I'm going to try to get them up within a pretty short time of each other because this is info that needs known about the Enderman. I'm going to make sure that stuff can spill prawn properly with the changing I'm making to this. And I'll be back.